This is video one in our series on forms in databases and we're going to be looking at Microsoft Access Forms. So first of all, what is a form? Well, a form is a way to view and edit the data, particularly in a table, sometimes could be in a query, in a more aesthetic way. So if you remember when we did tables, tables look something like this, where you've got a whole bunch of rows and columns and you can see all the data. Now, when you are dealing with other people, they're going to use the database. They might not like this layout. It might not be very user friendly to them. It's also nice just to view each record individually and be able to see all that information. And that's whether we want to change it or view it or, or even insert a new record and things like that. So what we would do is we would then convert that table into a form. It doesn't change the table. It just means we create this other thing called a form which connects to the table. So whatever we do to the form, will happen to the table. So if we change something in the form, it'll change it in the original table. And so a form looks something like this. As you can see, it's a lot more nicer to look at, a lot more laid out. You can see one record in full. You can actually adjust um, how the data how the data is presented. For example, you can make the columns uh, a bit smaller and stuff like that, make it just look more appealing to the person that's going to use it. So that's what we're going to be doing now with forms. Now, before we get into forms, let's just get some terminology right so we understand. So over here, those little blocks on the side there, you see those are the labels. Those are called labels and they basically will display whatever the names of your fields are. So whatever the fields, so we've got first name with no space, you can see that's how it is displayed there. And then the boxes next to them, those are called text boxes and that's where the data for those fields will be put. So for each record, when you move through the different records, those will obviously change depending on which record you are in. So let's go into Access and develop our first form. So here we are in Access and we want to create a form. So we can see we've got a whole bunch of tables with data in them. I'm going to come here to the Create option and you can see all the things that we've got here. Oh, there's forms. Now you can use all of these different options. I like using the form Harry Potter, I mean the form wizard. And so I'm going to click on the form wizard. It's going to take me through a step-by-step -step process of trying to find out what it is exactly that I want in my form. So let's click on the form wizard and it's going to pop up. Boom. So you can base a form off of a query or off of a table. I've got a whole bunch of hidden queries there. So I've got a whole bunch of them. I want to base it off of the table. So I'm going to go table and then I've got all the fields available to me. And here I can say which fields I want to put into my form and the ones that stay here are the ones I don't want on my form. So if you want all of them, you can just click on the two arrows there and it puts all of them there. And you say, okay, no, I don't want all of them, so you can put them all back. Um, or you can select them individually. So I want first name, surname, date of birth. So just add a couple of them in if you want and so on. So you can have those nice little forms. I'm gonna put in paid as well. So those are, if you only want specific uh, fields to be in your form. So there I've got the fields I want and then I click on the next and it tells me what type of uh, layout do I want. There are lots of different options available to you. I'm just going to click the default one which is columns and then here we want to give it a name. Now remember our naming conventions we don't want to give it the same name as a table. This is a, a form so I'm going to use the prefix frm data so that I know that this is the form and tbl data is the table and we're going to just open it so we can view the information. So I'm going to click on finish and there we go. We have a nice little form there. So we've got a nice little layout. It's all done for us. Obviously our first record doesn't have all the data entered. So if I enter in something in here, so if I just go and say, hey, um, city is, or let's say contact number, we're going to give it some sort of contact number. I'm just giving some random numbers. If I type in here, will it let me type in numbers? Let's try. There we go. My num lock wasn't on. So there we go. I'm adding some random numbers. There we go. And then I'm going to click save. Okay. So there we go. Now, if I had to go back to the table and go to Mr. Long, do you see how the number has been put into the table? So there, there we go. There's a link now between the, the fields here and the fields in the table. So if I, in the bottom here, you can see you can move through the different records and you can see all the data. Oh, it's so nice and pretty and stuff like that and things like that. So that, that's our form. That's how easy it is to make a form. Now, if you closed your form and you go, you know what? I actually want to change a few things of how it looks. You can also click on the form, right click on it and you can go to design view. You can do that and now we can go to how it looks and you can also click over here if you were originally viewing it in the in the form view you can then change to uh, design view now there's a few things i want to change first of all you'll notice that our labels 
are exactly like they are in the in the table and sometimes that's always not nice like date i want to say date i want to change this to date of birth you can actually change these the labels you can change them to whatever you want so date of birth i can change first name to first space name and things like that your contact number i'm actually going to change that to contact space number so you can make it just a little bit better to view it's not going to change the data the date that must stay the same because the date is going to go into those text boxes the labels we can do whatever we want to so those things we can do at the top here we've got the header which is what is always displayed at the top and at the bottom we have the footer now you'll notice there is no footer at the moment so you just click over here so your mouse makes like those arrows and you can drag down and then you can have a little footer area and you can right click on those areas and you've got all these options like we want to change this maybe i want to change that to a type of blue and then the bottom i'm going to change to a type of yellow let's make it yellow so there we go we've got a little bit more color to it and in my form i can actually change things like i can say this is uh, details about um our employees now, obviously, that box is very small. I'm going to just make it a bit bigger by dragging it, making it a little bit bigger, and then drag this up a bit just to make it a bit more aesthetic. Let's make this a bit smaller. Boom. And then move this up. Boom. And then drag that up. And there we go. We've got a nice little form. There are lots of other things you can add over the top here. You can see you can add a logo or a title. Maybe you want to add the date and the time. So if you add the date and the time, you just click there. And it will ask you what do you want? Do you want the date and the time? I would just want the date. So if I click just the date and you'll see it'll add that little thing over there. If you want this in the footer, you can just click on that and cut it and then come down to the bottom here and then just paste it. And now I've got it at the bottom in my field. And then you can obviously change if you go to home, you can change the font and the color of, of all those different things there. So there we go. Those are some nice things you can do in forms. Um, other things that you can do in forms, or I'll just added a random box there, which I'm going to delete. Um, other things that you can do in forms is you can change the positioning of these values. So for example, let's say I want first name and surname to be like one on top of each other. Now, when I click on this, do you see that if I move this, 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 com this combo, this first name and surname, you see it moves it together, both the label and the text box. It moves them together. Now I want the name, first name label to be on top and I want the surname to be on top over here, but I want the, the actual text boxes to be underneath them. So do you see those two little boxes there, those little gray blocks? Now if I click on the one over here, do you notice when I move it, it just moves the one. And if I move it now together as a whole, it'll move them together. So if I don't click on those boxes, it'll, it'll move the whole, the whole combo. But if I click on those little gray boxes, I can move them individually. And so I can do things like that. I can make this a little bit smaller. And then I can move this one to where I want. So I'm going to move this up a bit here. And then I'll click on that gray box so that I can make the surname go underneath. So it looks a little bit nicer. So there, oh, no, don't move it. I want to resize it. There we go. So there you go. You can change the actual layout of it. And let's go view it. So you can see it looks a little bit different. So you can change those little layouts and things like that you can do over there. Um, other things that you can do is you can actually go and you can say, hey, you know what, when I'm going through this form, let's go look, view it. When I'm going through the form and I want to see, or I want to just highlight all those that got about, that are paid more than a thousand um, in some sort of way. So I'm going to come to design view and you can actually just right click on a particular form and you've got all these options. I want the conditional formatting. Now, if you're familiar with Excel, this is exactly the same as Excel. So I want if this field, let's put a new rule, if the field's value is greater than equal to a thousand, then what do I want it to look like? Well, I want the, I want the text to be in green and I want the fill of it to be what, go, what goes good with the green. Let's give it orange, nice orange background. So it looks like that. So if I do that, now you'll see it doesn't actually do anything to the field. Now if I go view it, you'll see it does nothing. There's, you can't see why, why isn't it working because that field isn't above a thousand yet. If I click there, oh, that one's above a thousand. So you can see it's changed the format, but the ones that aren't above a thousand aren't changed. So that's a nice little way to just highlight what you want. You can also change, for example, if you change these fields, you can actually change the background of the whole form as we showed earlier with the background full color. But you can also click on different aspects like this and you can right click and change 
the full color of these particular components if you want them to be in yellow for example to make it a little bit funky if you want to do it to a whole bunch of of these components so you want all the labels you can just click on one label and press con i think it's control and then you can click on multiple ones at the same time um, so i'm holding down control while i click here so that means they're all selected so therefore when i change their fill color it'll change all of them and you can do that obviously to the text boxes or the labels so there we go so that's how you can design your form you've got a lot of options if you're not too sure you can always just right click over here and see what options are available to you so there's lots of little things that you can insert here and, and change and change the layout and so there you've got a nice looking form. Oh, this one looks a bit terrible i need to change a bit more colors and make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing but you get the idea so you can now create forms going to the create form harry potter i mean was it or and then once you've got a form you can just obviously go to the forms design view and change the way that you like change things that you want to make it look a little bit better than maybe this is it's not too bad but we could make it a bit better for more videos in this video series please go to our youtube channel click on the subscribe button click on the like button we'd love to hear from you and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way